Good morning girls, it is Jeffy here. Hope you're all doing well. Today is the 24th of April 2012 and I am 28 weeks and 2 days pregnant. Um, symptoms for the past week, they've actually slowed down a bit, which is good. Uh, I had really heart, bad heartburn the last time I talked to you girls and it seemed to have settled down. But I am still throwing up, so like I'm throwing up like in the mornings mostly. But yeah. Um, I would like to congratulate Lisa because she had her twin boys on, well, my Thursday but her Wednesday. So I'd like to congratulate her and Dara on the birth of Callum and Dara. She managed to have them naturally with just an epidural. So yeah, that is really exciting. And also one of the other girls, Mandy, she also had her little girl Hartley. So congratulations to them both. Um, I just checked for Stacey Haynes because I know she was having her twins and there's been no news on that yet. So I can't congratulate yet. But I'm thinking it's boring girl. So we've done symptoms, we've done that. I'll go straight on to yesterday's appointment then. I had my ultrasound appointment yesterday at the fetal maternal unit at Liverpool Hospital. And when we actually went up there, I realised it was the place that um, they saw the ectopic well, they thought it was an ectopic, but they did nothing about it. So I had mixed feelings about it. So, um, yeah, but anyhow, they were really good in there yesterday. Um, I just went in, had to do all the history and everything. They wanted to know my history, Mark's history, our parents' history, on stuff in the family and stuff. And, yeah, and then we went out, waited like two minutes, and then we went in for the ultrasound. We had this lady who was trying to do all the stuff with Sophia, but as always, that little girl always has her hands up at her face, and they can see the nasal bone. Nothing new with her. And, um, yeah, she was just so cute. No photos, unfortunately, because they couldn't get a good photo of her. And, um... Yeah, so they did the measurements and stuff, and then she went to call in another doctor because she said, oh, you know, the baby's in a weird position, like apparently she's in a transverse position, which means she's going across my stomach. Yeah, she said, oh, it's very hard to get measurements and stuff and all this kind of stuff. So she called some doctor in, and then the doctor, straight away, the first one actually, well, the first one actually doing a scan, was the first one that sort of used logic. He goes to me, what was your birth weight when you were born? And I'm like, three kilos and a bit, which I figured it out on my little app here for you Americans, is 6.7 pounds. Oh, it doesn't come up on there. And he goes, it looks like at this stage she'll be around the same weight that I was when I was born. So, um, yeah, so around there, or just a little bit lower. So, the paper's right here. So, she currently weighs around 1.061 kilos, which, according to this, is 2.3 pounds. So, according to all my apps and everything, that is normal anyway. So, yeah. So, um... And he's put it all up against the chart with the other stuff. And yeah, while it's low, everything is sort of in the low range. Apart from the fluid and the blood flow, they're really high, which is good. Um, it's been at a steady rate, and he's not really worried. So, yeah, and it looks like she'll be like I was when I was born. So, I'll just show you. So, we've got the weight over here. So, okay. The EFW. So yeah, so you can see that they've measured it and they've put it up against a chart, and it shows that when she's born, she should be around the three kilo mark if it continues at the way it's going. So yeah, so I have a follow up appointment in a month on the 24th of May. Check how she's going, and at that stage, I think it'll be 32 weeks and four days. I have stuff here. I went crazy on the weekend. Not as in buying stuff, as in like with washing everything of hers. So um, I forgot to show you last week. I was going to show you last week, like the washing powder and everything that I was going to use. So I will show you that. So I bought this washing powder off the internet. So it's over 
Bye bye small and mighty for babies, the front later version. So I've got that. And I've also got this. So you like your nappy sand kind of thing, but a sensitive one. So I've been using them two on the clothes. If it was second hand clothes I was washing in the load, I would put in the nappy sand. I call it nappy sand. But um if it was just brand new, new clothes, I just left it with just um, the washing powder and I just use normal fabric stuff for her clothes. So that's all been organised. Um, check, I have put a link down below, or I'll figure out how to put a link in the video, one of the two, to the video of the baby nursery, how it looks now. And I will show you in a few minutes. Uh, I forgot to show you the wardrobe, like I showed you one half of it. I did show you how I organised the dresses and jackets. So um, I'll show you that in a bit. So yeah, it went crazy and now it just feels like I just really, really want her here. Like, I've got nothing to organise in that room now. So <laughs> I'm like, hurry up, July. I just wanted to wear everything and I want to cuddle her and you know how it is. So yeah, um, okay, let me see. What have we got this week? Um, yesterday we went to Best and Less and I took out the lay by and I'll show you the pyjamas that we got. So you know, Mark's a Bulldogs fan. So I got this in a size one, so we took this one off lay by. So it says, when I grow up, I want to play for the Bulldogs. And here are the matching pyjama pants. So, uh, so yeah, Mark was very happy to take that off lay by. I also bought this for the hospital, just a travel set so I could fix it up. Um, we're going to do our hospital bag over the next few weeks. We decided we're going to buy everything at once. So we've got to sit down and make a list of what we need and then just do it. Because I need to pack one for him as well. Um, because of the shape of my uterus, and I don't know how to say it properly, the proper term, bicornered uterus or whatever. There's a chance that I could go into preterm labour. So I just want to have him ready as well, just in case. And um, yeah, but my mum went to full term with both me and my brother with the same condition. And from what I was reading on the internet, yeah, the first babies are born small because of the uterus. However, they managed to stretch it out that when it comes to the second baby, um, they're actually a bit heavier and they've got more room in there to grow, which is good. And I started buying stuff for the baby shower. Um, we went to just a normal two dollar shop and I saw these, so I got them. So these are just stuff to put on the table. There and then I bought little thank you cards to put on the bobinieri. Two packs of them. And I bought the little scattering stuff as well. So yeah, they say baby on them. And then there's a little love heart in them. So I've gotten that so far. I'll put in a link as well, a picture at the end of how the baby shower invitation looks like as well. I've started sending them out and giving them to people and stuff. So yes, is it? Hold on. My friend, she's doing really well. They're out of hospital now and um haven't seen Ziva yet. So I'm still like waiting. I'm like, I want to see her. But um they're doing really well. Apparently they went back to the hospital yesterday just to do a weigh-in and Ziva's put on weight, so the hospital's really happy, which is good. So that's it. So I will take you over to the room and I'll show you what I was going to show you. Okay, this is the other side of Sophia's wardrobe. And what I have done is I've sorted them out from, yep, it's pointing the right way. So the ones on the right are starting in like four zeros, and it goes up three zeros, two zeros, and zero. And over here I've got it same pattern, so from four zeros all the way up to zeros, but over here at the moment I've got um, a little jumpsuit that Lisa got for Sophia and a couple of the premature stuff because I haven't decided if I'm washing them yet, but um, it looks like I will, just in case we do have a baby that's on low weight. Okay, this is going to be my belly shot for week 28, so this is the front view of Sophia, this is the side. 
this is the other side. <laughs> and over here. So yeah, that's it for this week. Um, I do have a baby market I'm going to on Sunday. And what else is happening? The 5th of May, I've got my obstetrician appointment. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. Next week's video will be late. But yeah, oh, and I had the glucose test as well. I can forget and stuff. Put the glucose test on Saturday, and yeah, I think that's going well as well. Thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.